Hi, my name is Christina and I am your librarian here at Christina's Bookshop and today I am bringing you a book that I was so excited about reading. I am bringing you The Return of the Chauffeur's Son by Tara Lane published by Dream Spinner Press and this book is already out now so if you are just as excited as me. All right, before I go any further, picture this, a modern MM version of Sabrina and before you gasp, not Sabrina the Teenage Witch, I'm talking about Audrey Hepburn, Sabrina. I know, like when I read the blurb, I don't think I could type fast enough, like, I want this book. Like I was just like, oh my God. And then I had like a couple before it that I had to read. I was just like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And finally I just like pushed everything aside. You know, like one of those, we're gonna have dirty raunchy sex and I'll push everything off my desk. That's what this was like. We're gonna have dirty raunchy sex, this book and I, and I'm gonna push everything off my desk and <sighs> Focus. I am so excited to talk to you guys about this. Like, you don't, I don't even think I can explain it. Okay, just, I'm ecstatic. Here we go. Luca is the chauffeur's son, and he went to culinary school. He studied in Paris. He's worked in New York, and now he's coming home. His dad is a chauffeur for the Armstrongs, who are a wealthy family. Luca has always had a crush on James since they were boys and they played together, they ran around together, they did everything. He has always wanted James. But James is a ladies man. Luca was just a friend. Luca, heartbroken, devastated, goes to culinary school. Comes back and he is grown up, matured, but still madly in love with James. So once he comes home and James kind of knows Luca's feelings for him, James now becomes conflicted and wants to be with Luca. But if you remember Sabrina, James is engaged. Well, James has promised Luca this huge date, you know, like fireworks and everything that's going to go on. And he gets hurt and can't take him. So he asks Dylan to take out Luca in his place. Well, Dylan is like, no problem, bro. Because as much as Luca has been in love with James, Dylan has been in love with Luca, but didn't realize that it was true love. So these two boys spend a fantastic day together. It would probably be like a huge embarrassing moment on both parties that night. And um, Luca kind of freaks out. He goes to the one place he thinks he's gonna find peace, happiness, solace, but it doesn't turn out that that's where he finds it and he runs. Well, we can't have him running away. Dylan's in love with him. So, just, oh, this book, Tara did such a wonderful job of writing an MM version that embraces the essence of the original Sabrina. And to get this spectacular MM version, I'm just, oh, be still my heart. It's so beautiful. And the little one-liners, the little zings that Tara puts in there, like, you're just kind of going along and it could be a high angst moment and you're just like, oh my God, what's gonna happen? And then the next second, you're just busting up laughing because you can't believe this was said. And a couple of times I was so into the story that the one liner got away from me until a character was like, did you not get what I just said, you know? And it was like they were talking to me because I did miss it at first. I went back and read it and then I was laughing hysterically while the character who originally didn't get it gets it. And so we're both laughing together. And so it was a great bonding experience for me and these characters because, you know, we didn't get things together and we did get things and we laughed and we cried and oh, it just, you know, what's going to happen? And just when you think everything's perfect, it kind of shifts a little bit and you're like, no! And it's just so wonderful. I absolutely, like I said, I think she captured the essence of Sabrina did a very good job of putting the characters together, creating that whole feel. I am so in love with this story. I could stop what I'm doing right now and actually pick it up and read it again because I was in love with the original movie. I was in love with the Harrison Ford remake. I am in love with The Return of the Chauffeur's Son. Obviously, it's getting five stars. Like I just cannot talk about this book enough and my absolute just adoration for Tara Lane for writing this and to the characters for being my BFFs while we were going through this adventure together 
with the fun times, the happy times, the one-liners, the sad times, just the horribleness of seeing Dylan watching Luca, who's watching James, who's kind of watching Luca, kind of watching Nyla, kind of doing his own thing, and just, mm, I don't think there will ever become a time where I will say, eh, no, it wasn't that great. Like, it is that great. Down below, I'm going to leave Dream Spinner's website and the Amazon link. Go ahead and go to Dream Spinner, make yourself a profile. They like to do giveaways and book discounts, but you have to have the profile to participate. If you've already done that, or you're saying, Christine, I'm not gonna jump through that hoopla, I am leaving the Amazon link down below, so no worries. If you've enjoyed my review, give me a like. Leave me a comment. I love to interact with all of you guys, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would love to be one of those people that says, look for a review every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. That's kind of not how things work for me, mainly because of life. But that's the magic of the subscribe button, is that you will get a notification when I have a new review out for you. If you like me and think this chick's pretty awesome, down below I'm going to leave my website, my Facebook page, and my Twitter. If you have a book or an arc you'd like me to read, you can request via website. Return of the Chauffeur's Son by Tara Lane, published by Dream Spinner Press, out now. Five stars. Bye. Hi, my name is Christina. I'm your librarian here at Christina's Bookshop, and today I am bringing you Add Love and Mix by Shawn Michaels, published by Dream Spinner Press. This book is already out, so if you like my review, I will leave links down below. You can just go on your way and get it and start reading. I absolutely freaking adored this book, and I was absolutely freaking frustrated with this book from like page one. I was beyond angry. Like, 